So today I'm going to reveal to you your Irish name, your name in Irish or close enough because we can't go through every name in the world. There just isn't enough time. We're going to give you a jumping off point of how to get your Irish name or something akin to it because honestly not all names translate to Irish to be honest. Sometimes you just put a little Irish accent on it and a father. That's what they do with my name, Diana, Diana. Before getting into the video, do be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, the next time you're just walking around in your new favorite top, you're gonna find a stain on it. Where did the stain come from? I don't know, you don't know, but if you subscribe, you might be able to avoid such a horrible, horrible fate every time you put on a new jumper that you like, sweater thing. Subscribe. Okay, so overwhelmingly, the dominant religion in Ireland is still Roman Catholicness. I'm a Roman Catholic, not really practicing, but as a result, I have a ton of names. So my full name is Diane, which is my birth name, Rosaline, named after my grandmother, which is my christening name, Alicia, which is my confirmation name, chosen. I just like the name Alicia, and I figured out there, there must be a St. Dallas somewhere. Marin, my mother's maiden name, Jennings, my last name. But translating it to Irish, I would just be Diane Nihioni. Diane, the daughter of Jennings. If you're a guy, you'll be the son of somebody, so that's Mach, Mac, or O, son of blah. Hopefully your parent is not called blah. And as I've mentioned, if you're a girl, you're Nee or Nick, daughter of or descendant of. Traditionally, you'll go by the name of the most well-known of your parentage, but usually speaking, that was always your father. It was very much a rarity to be named daughter of your mother. Seems kind of sexist if you ask me, and that tradition remains the same throughout the Western world today. That doesn't seem fair. Yay for equality. So when you marry, you can take on your husband's name, and then you become the wife of somebody. So you'd be Bian Wee or Bian Vic, and usually you get rid of the Bian, and you just become Wee or Vic. But as you probably know, if you know much about the history of Ireland, we have to change our names back in day when the English came over and just took over the whole country. Potentially problematic. Nihonin became Jennings. That was the English version of my name and it remains to this day just because that's just what happens when time passes. Fun fact, speaking Irish was outlawed at one point and you'd go to jail if you were caught speaking Irish. Okay, but those are your last names and really, we're not here for our last names mostly. We mostly want our first names, right? So I'm gonna run through a bunch of them with you now. Last names, bleh, bleh. who cares? You're giving me, I don't care face. Okay, so if you know anything about Irish, you will know that we are big fans of vowels. We love to throw in vowels where you see no vowels. Seer Sharonin. What is that? Say so oh, we're see. Source Roma, I don't know. Who is that anyway? So whatever your translated name is, let's just assume there are a whole bunch of extra vowels in there. And they'll be fathers too, but we're not gonna worry about them too much today. So according to the Bible, the first man was Adam, but Adam in Ireland would be Adam, spelt the D-H. God, Irish people love to throw in a H. He could also be Ohaf, just if he wants to be super duper different with his name, that's a possibility. Then we have the first woman, ah, she who bit the apple. So Eve, and I'm gonna give you a second to guess this one because you've probably heard this Irish name and been like, what, when you saw how it's spelt? It's Aoife. Aoife is a very common name in Ireland and quite a beautiful one, I might add. But yeah, if you had no idea how to pronounce this, I'm gonna guess you'd say Aoife. Then we have Alex or Alec. Well, we have to go back to the full name, so that'd be Alexander, and the Irish version of that would be Alistair or Al Sundar. Just depending on what way your parents decide you're gonna pronounce it. There are other names like Andrew, which could still be pronounced Andrew, but spelt like this. Anne becomes Anya. Barbara, still Barbara, but spelt like this. Then sometimes you just have to go with the closest thing that translates to your name. So say your name is Brian, your Irish name would be Brian or Brohan, but maybe you're Barney or Barnabas. There is no Irish for Barney or Barnabas, so we would call you Brian. Close enough. Not we, like the modern we, but people in Ireland of Irish tradition, like in the Gaeltacht, you'd be called 
spray on. And you'd be like, but my name's Barney. But yeah. David becomes Dahi. And then there are other ones that are just, how did we get to that? Daisy becomes Nona. Because Nonine is Daisy in Irish. There are words like that. As for Karen, well, she's Karen, but she's spelt differently. For all you chads out there, there's no direct translation of that, but you'd probably fall under Charles, and in Irish that's Charles, or Charles, or Calvoc. Don't ask me how we got there. For all you Blanches, there are so many of you out there, that you're Fionnet. Your name changes a lot. Christopher, well that's a good one because obviously it comes from Christ and Traditionally speaking in Ireland was a lot tied in with the religion, so you change to Christer. You might think your name would be similar if it's Christian, but no. It's Gyla Christ. Daniel becomes Dan Yale. Very similar to the male version of Diane. Dennis is a nice traditional Irish name, Donacha. And there are so many spellings of this, I'm just putting one up, but there are so many versions. Dorothy is Dieran or Darine. Edward Eidvard. Eugene becomes Eich or Owen. That's not a sound I just made. The name is Eich. Felix is Felach or Fetlum. I don't know too many Felixes. Maybe your cat is called Felix. He now demands to only be addressed by his Irish name. Gerald and Gerard are pretty similar. Garoy, they're Gerald. So again, if your name is like very obscure, not a normative Western name, then I would suggest you find something close enough. Actually, let me know below in comments what you would guess your Irish name is if I haven't mentioned it so far. George, Shorsa, Grace, Cronia, Henry, Henri. Oh, that sounds like the French one, but it's not. Hugh becomes Olga. If you don't like that, you can go there again. Isabel or Isabella becomes Chevelle. That's actually, again, a really common name in Ireland. Jean or Jane becomes Sinead. Lawrence becomes Lauris. Kate, Katie, Catherine becomes Coach or Cotine or Cochin, just depending on whereabouts in Ireland you are. Mark becomes Marcus, which again sounds kind of Latino. <laughs> I don't know, there's, there's, a, there's a link there. Matthew becomes Mochu, Martin Marstein, Megan or Maggie becomes Peg or Pegine. Yeah, you'd have a hard time guessing that one. My favourite is Michael, which becomes Michal. Maturity. Nigel or Neil become Niall, which you'll be familiar with if you're a One Directioner. A Directioner. A person who likes One Direction. Roger or Roderick, for all the Rodericks out there, become Rory or Rory becomes Rory. Stephen becomes Stefan or Stina. Thomas becomes Tomas. Timothy becomes Tyg. William becomes Liam. Vivian, Vivian, Vivienne becomes Bevan. And finally, if your name is Winifred, it's now Una. I don't know how we got to Una, we just did. If I haven't mentioned your name today, I'm really sorry. Maybe I'll do another one of these lists. Let me know your name below and I'll look into it. <laughs> Okay, unbelievable Vito here. There is an unreal amount of typing in this video. And if she ever does it again, she can employ somebody else because honest to God, I might as well have written a thesis. Never again. For now, we're gonna go over to Chewy because he has some special shout outs today. Hello everybody. A couple of patrons to shout out today. The first one is Terry Homiston. She would love to shout out a happy holidays and stay safe to everybody. Remember this time is high in mental health issues. Her message is please watch out for each other and reach out to those that may be alone or challenged. Thank you Terry. I like your wolf. Our second shout out comes from Jason Moyer, who wants to shout out everyone in the US who celebrated Thanksgiving this week. He says, although many of us may not be able to travel as far as we'd like this holiday, he hopes we can still share quality time with some of the people we care about. He says, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thanks, Jason. And that's it for today's list. See you on the other side. Bye. And then, but in actual fact, but maybe you're Barney or in the world. There just isn't time. There just, there just isn't enough time. <coughs> Bless me. There's nobody in this room. I'm just germing myself.